Okay, in the beautiful country of St. Kitts, wanted to talk to you on territorial tax countries and how do you pick the best one, the right one for you? Uh, uh, that's kind of a hard question because everybody that's listening to this have different goals. Uh, but I'm going to give you some generalities that you ought to be shooting for. Uh, and this can kind of narrow down what you're looking for. Also, folks, if you want to legally get your income taxes to zero, how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button the right of your screen. Also, in that notification bell next to that subscribe button, you'll get new videos automatically as they come out. Number two is I'd like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below. Number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and ask for some help. All right, let's get started on the territorial countries. These are countries that don't tax income except inside the country, okay? So any income you make outside, and I'm talking about a pure territorial tax system, uh, they don't tax you on investment income like dividends, capital gains outside the country, even if you live there, and they don't tax earned income, even if you live there, as long as the income is made outside the country. All right, now, I'm on, now some of these have variations, and then some of them... Uh, has some twicks like Uruguay. Uruguay does have a taxation on dividend income after you've been there. Uh, it's approximately around five years uh, and they'll start hitting you on uh, dividend taxes if you're not taxed somewhere else. Uh, that's why I don't like Uruguay. Now you might say, well Tom, I don't mind paying a little bit of tax on dividend. Then fine, then pick that one. I, I'm talking about people that want to get their taxes down as low as possible. I'm, I'm telling you the best ways to do it, okay? Now let's look at some of the countries that I would, that I like, that have territorial tax systems. Uh, I like Panama. I like uh, Nicaragua, Guatemala, Honduras. Ecuador is great. Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore. These are countries that have real good tax laws in place. And, uh, and then these are not pure tax savings. These are territorial tax systems. So they do have an income tax locally. Now, uh, let me tell you why. And uh, one, another one too is Belize. That's another good one. And Dominican Republic. Uh, these are territorial type of uh, tax systems. Now, let me tell you why I like these countries. Now, some of these countries, there are some things I don't like. And uh, I'll tell you some of the things I don't like. I like picking a country. The ideal place is a country that speaks English, because I can't speak anything else fluently except English, uh, that has good visa-free travel, that you can get a second passport, not have to relinquish your other ones. Now... You know, the best one by far is St. Kitts because it's the only one that I've mentioned in the countries in, in, right in, in this video that fits every single one of those. Uh, the other ones, there are some that, that fit everything except the language requirement because uh, uh, those other ones are Spanish speaking. Um, and except for Th Thailand, is uh, you have to learn how to speak Thai. That's a very difficult language to get the passport. Now, you might say, well, Tom, I have no interest in getting the passport. I just want to get a residency. Then that's a different story. But I always tell people, uh, I would not be putting that in your agenda or I think you're going to be sorry about it. Let me tell you why. I see so many people go to a country. They don't go there because they want the passport. They go there only because of the tax system. And they go in there for permanent residency. That's it. They have no intentions of getting the passport. Okay, so they're there for a year or two. And then all of a sudden, they change their business. All their plans change. So now they want to do something else. But then they all of a sudden, they find out, oh, they go to their lawyer there locally. And that country's not going to let you get in that type of business because you're not a citizen. Now... You go and you find out, they'll tell you it's going to take you five years to get the passport, when actually it's going to take you 10 to 15 years to get it. Because now you're going to have to be a citizen to get in that new field. So then if you had just picked a country, okay, you'd live there for five or six or seven years, and then that headache comes up, that little, little glitch in the side, that now you change your business, and now you're into something else. But you got to be a citizen... And all of a sudden, you've been there seven or eight years, and you literally can qualify for the passport. Hey, man, you hit heaven. You can just get the passport. You don't have to start back over again. This happens all the time. And this is why I tell you, even if it's not your plans on the agenda, 
pick countries that allow dual citizenship, either pure tax haven or territorial tax system. That's good visa-free travel, at least to the Shenzhen countries. Uh, English speaking, preferably, unless you want to learn that other language. Uh, that's not going to make you give up your other passports. Uh, I'm going to take some off the list that don't allow dual citizenship, okay? Nicaragua has wavered their language requirement, but one problem with Nicaragua is you're going to have to relinquish your other passports unless the citizenships are with other Central American countries, okay? This is the big negative they've got. Uh, they did waiver the language requirement, which is really nice, but you're going to have to give up those other passports that you got to get that one, okay? Why do that when you can go to Guatemala and get the whole package? You don't have to relinquish your other citizenships. Uh, you, you will have to learn a second language, that's Spanish, uh, but you can, uh, I, I think I would rather do that than have to give up all the other passports that I've got, okay? Panama, you're going to have to learn second language which is uh, Spanish, unless you can already speak it. You're also going to have to relinquish all your other passports. And folks, you're not going to get the passport after the statutory time period of five years that they say you have to be there. Count on 10 to 15 years. I know people there have been there for 20 years, still have not gotten the passport. Okay, this is the type of crap you see right there. And I just did a video the other day. If you're looking at getting a second passport, go the fast track in the Caribbean. As your second passport, your third passport should be the slow track residency by investment because it could take you years and years and years and years to get it. No matter what that attorney tells you locally, I'm telling you the truth, double or triple the figure he tells you. Because once he's paid, you know, he's been paid, and you're going to find this out years down the road, and you probably would even for forgot that he even told you that, okay? <laughs> It'll be so many years down the road, and he knows that. And I see so much bull crap that's thrown at people that's not correct. And if you want it, if you want it quick and for sure, unless you've got a criminal or civil issue, go with a fast track program. And I like St. Kitts better. It has more visa-free travel than the other uh, uh, citizenship by investment in the Caribbean. It was rated as the best pass, the second uh, passport uh, citizenship by investment program in the world. Okay. Uh, I did a video on that, and that, that just came out in the last six months. So, uh, and one, you know, some of the things they didn't mention on there that I highly value is it doesn't have an income tax, no capital gains tax, no estate tax, no inheritance tax. These are things that you want to look for. Um, Thailand is pretty nice, but you're going to have to learn Thai to get the passport, and you're going to have to relinquish your other citizenships. Philippines is a great, I love the Philippines. Great residency by investment. Folks, you're going to have to give up your other passports to get that passport, okay? And the passport's not all that good. You don't have visa free to the Shenzhen countries. It's just not that good. But you definitely don't want to give up your other passports to carry that passport. And that's why I'm telling you, if you want to uh, get compensated for your time of spending in a country to get that second passport, you need to bypass the ones that don't allow dual citizenship. And I've just given them to you. Uh, Thailand doesn't have it. Uh, uh, Nicaragua, Honduras is another bad one. They only have treaties with certain countries. Uh, and they're only a real small number in Central America that you can get dual citizenship with. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have to relinquish your other passports. Uh, these, are, these are things that you got to look at. Belize, uh, English speaking, passport's not very good. No visa free to the Shenzhen countries. But I'll tell you something about Belize. Uh, they do allow dual citizenship. Uh, you won't get the passport in the five-year period, they say. Uh, a lawyer will tell you seven, count 10 to 15 years. Tr trust me, 10 to 15 years to get it. That's why you need a fast track before you get that one. Okay, if you're, if you're in a country like U.S. and you want to relinquish your U.S. citizenship, don't go with a residency by investment. It will take you forever. The, the amount you lose in taxes waiting for that residency by investment program to mature where you can get the passport, uh, you'll end up paying a lot more in income taxes than you would if you just got the citizenship uh, quickly in a citizenship by investment program like in St. Kitts and Nevis. That's the best way to go. 
Uh, also, folks, if you want to learn how to legally get your income taxes to zero or how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button the right of your screen. You'll get new videos as they come out automatically. And uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell next to that subscribe button. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. Hit the top bar that says apply with us. Fill out the questions. Hit that bottom bar that says send it to us. Uh, we deal with over 100 citizenship by investment and residency by investment countries all over the world. And uh, in this pretty, this is the actual park. Uh, it's a natural reserve park. On, on the other side of those mountains is the ocean. Uh, incredibly beautiful out here. They actually have wild hogs out here, believe it or not. I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.